Challenge Brown. Here's the breakdown. The first competitor, standing 5 feet 8 inches, weighing 195 pounds, John Grimmett. And his opponent, standing 5 feet 7 inches, weighing 195 pounds, George Eiferman. We begin this 1940s classic with the front relaxed. I'm going to go with George Eiferman in this one due to his tiny little wee waist and uh, apparent round muscle bellies. I will say some of these older ones are going to be perhaps not quite fair to the better conditioned athlete. As these uh, older pitchers, conditioning is kind of out the window. You can't really I really see, just from what I gather, it appears that uh, Grimmick is in slightly better conditioning, but like I said, it's hard to tell. But anyway, we're going to award uh, Eiferman the uh, point and move on to the front double bicep. I have Eiferman leading ahead in this one once again, but uh, I will say John Grimmick is actually giving everything he has here in this front double bicep. When I, uh, I will admit, when I first was uh, dividing up these pictures of these two gentlemen, I figured for sure Eiferman was going to destroy Grimmick here in the front double bicep. But when I did the comparison, I was just like, wow, Grimmick is uh, doing battle here, and he, he's coming close there. And at one point, I was going to award him the victory just uh, based on the, perhaps, the edge on the bicep alone. But uh, the overall shape and just the natural shape of Eiferman just uh, slightly edges him out of victory here. And Grimmick has the edge in the legs as well, I would say. In particular, the calves. He's a little beast. Look at him. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, have a look at a front lat spread. Now, I know what you're all thinking. This is not fair to poor John Grimmick. But I really couldn't find much of a picture of him hitting the front lat spread. I don't believe that it was actually a good pose for him. I found this other one here, but it's uh, he's kind of holding a trophy there. Might be a little bit better than the other one. I don't know. Uh, you can basically tell that there's just no, either way, there's just no way that uh, he or anybody of that time could touch George Eiferman in this pose. Just incredible front lat spread. Anyway, at this time, I'll have these two gentlemen turn around and display a rear double bicep in the part of John Grimmick, anyway. And Eiferman uh, gives us uh, whatever this pose would be, uh, a tilting rear double bicep, complete with full moon, I guess. Apparently, there wasn't too many pictures of George Eiferman hitting any back shots, but uh, I guess I had to go with this bare-bombed pitcher. But uh, we're going to go ahead and cover that bare bomb up. We, uh, we don't show bear bums here at Mark's Max Muscle. But anyway, we're definitely going to go with John Grimmick on this one. He's uh, really showing why he was the legend that he was. And it's a shame, too, that uh, this is the only back shot we're going to be able to use. Look how thick he is in the back. And the uh, calves, too. Look at the calves. And the legs. Just just incredible from, from the back here, John Grimmick. He's destroying uh, Eiferman. But like I said, that's a shame. This is the only back shot we have. So, uh, like I said from the start, some of these older ones aren't very fair. But anyway, we'll have these two gentlemen turn back around and snap a most muscular pose. We're going to go once again, go with George Eiferman in this one. Really showed his dominance here in this competition against John Grimmick. But I will reiterate it. Perhaps isn't quite fair due to the lack of footage and things of that nature. Even in this picture here, uh, John Grimmick shows his uh, dominance in the arm department. But uh, Eiferman is just too much, too much in the pec, pec de department here. But uh, we're going to give John Grimmick one more chance here and uh, display one last pose. For lack of a better term, we're going to just call these two ab and thigh poses. And goes without a doubt here, uh, John Grimmick shows that he was in uh, quite a superior condition between these two. This would be uh, earlier on in his career. So he's definitely showing that uh, he can win some poses, but uh, definitely far, far too late. So here is your winner, 
of this challenge round, George Eiferman. George Eiferman will now wait the challenge of another challenge round winner to do battle in the gladiator round. 